Everybody, we start with breaking news in Middletown tonight. One person has died, nine children are hurt after a van drives into a train crossing. This happened on 14th Avenue near University. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is at the scene for us. Anjanette, what exactly happened? Well, Cammie, uh, we want to give you the latest. The train crossing here on 14th Avenue opened just a short time ago and within the last hour. We are told by a trooper that those nine children suffered nine non-life-threatening injuries and they have been taken to two hospitals in the area. And we can tell you that the driver of the van was taking those children to a vacation Bible school for the church at Mayfield here in Middletown. That trooper says that the driver drove straight into the crossing guard, which had apparently come down as the train approached. The train was traveling at about two miles per hour at the time because it had to stop before approaching the crossing to ensure that the lights and that guard worked. Troopers are investigating what caused the crash. It was very startling for people who live in this neighborhood who came by to see what had happened. I was at my friend's house. We heard the sirens and we decided to come down and take a look. When we come down, that's when we seen a van against the train. There was a definite distraction of some sort to enable her to drive right into a train. It, again, it wasn't like she was trying to go through. It wasn't like the train hit her on the right side. The train was completely in front of the van when she drove into it. And right now, troopers are still trying to determine exactly what caused that driver to crash and what may have distracted her. That driver is in serious condition and she is in surgery at this hour. Her passenger, the front seat passenger, a woman, passed away. And we're told by troopers that the children who were injured, they believe it was a good sign because all of them were crying, so they were alert. Reporting live from Middletown, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami. It had to be terrifying for them, Anjanette. Thank you. State troopers are not releasing the passenger's name until her family has been notified.